Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like in the video for some good luck for AMC. If you guys want to see all-time highs like I do, make sure to please drop a like in the video. I'm super excited to announce that we currently have a few more slots open for our exclusive private trading discord. Inside the discord, you'll find real-time stock picks from yours truly, see all my trades in real time, and chat with other thousands of investors that are constantly posting plays, trades, and more. We even have multiple millionaire investors in there, which you could pick their brain, ask them questions, etc. So make sure you guys join before we close the server again, because we are only letting in a limited amount of people. Click the second link down below in my description to join. Let's get right into it, guys. We have another post from Tony Kim, the financial analyst that's been pretty involved with this whole AMC saga. Tony said the DTCC is the largest security depository in the world, having processed 2.15Q quadrillion, there's, there's a new word we don't hear often, in securities in 2019. On July 22nd, 2021, the DTCC published SRNSCC 2021-010. This filing sets out the procedures for short sellers to exchange securities for a cash loan to meet collateral calls in the event of a default. In doing so, its members can avoid a fire sale scenario. It begs the question, why would the largest security depository in the world take steps to shield the market against a fire sale borne by short positions if the, if the threat of such an event wasn't real? Why are these safeguards necessary at all? Now, Tony offers a very good point. I even said this in one of yesterday's videos. I was saying that if there wasn't any need for such a worst case scenario, why would the DTCC even publish a rule like this? Because I was told that meme stocks such as AMC and GME were just elaborate pump and dump internet scams that only an idiot would blindly hop on the social media driven speculation bandwagon headed for a certain financial ruin. That's their no fundamental basis for investing in a dying brick and mortar video game retailer and movie theater chain in the wake of a digital transformation. That the stock market has become gamified like a casino, that naked short selling happens, and not, but not at a scale retail thinks it is. The dark pool abuse is just a wild conspiracy prop propagated by tinfoil. Next, guys, yesterday we did see a crazy move from AMC stock. What do we see, like 9% on the day? That was, of course, partially because of the retail investors, but also institutions are getting involved. Here we see 244,586 shares of AMC being purchased at $40.29. That is a whale of a purchase. Just under $10 million worth of AMC was purchased yesterday. And basing the future off of the recent purchases from all these different institutions, I wouldn't be so surprised if we see a lot of big whale purchasing sometime soon here because a lot of these smaller hedge funds that are not in the game of short AMC want to get in on the action before the short squeeze happens. Next up, guys, I like this meme. Would you fold this? That's what you're doing if you sell AMC. Now, again, maybe I'm a little bit biased because I, of course, am rooting for AMC. We all know that. But honestly, guys, if you take everything into consideration as of right now, I do not think there is a easier moment that I personally have had in order to keep holding on to AMC. Next up, guys, we have got to take a look at the options chain for this week's expiration date. We see the top strike price, the highest up strike price, $125, valued at around $4. This one was valued at around, I want to say $7 earlier yesterday, so it did pop up like 40%, 50%. The current open interest, $17,300. The second top strike price of open interest is the $50 strike price, valued at around $59 currently. So we'll see how this one holds up. Obviously, this one is still far out of the money, but not all that far. And then, of course, the $40 strike price, which is finally in the money. Super, super exciting. This one has 10,168 open interest and this one is currently valued at $280. Now this one's pretty expensive but keep in mind if AMC pops up to 45, 50, 55 that $280 bet will be able to print money. And on the put side of things the $30 strike price which was actually pretty close to in the money the other day is now losing most of its value. Currently valued at only $20 but with still pretty high open interest, 17980 I have a feeling that this one is going to definitely expire worthless by this Friday. As far as the put-to-call ratio, we are seeing a little bit more puts than the last time I went over this report. But we're currently at a 0.49% put-to-call but we're currently at a 0.49% put to call volume ratio with the puts being around 62,000, the calls being around 125,000. And the open interest for the calls is very bullish as well. Almost 140,000 open interest on the calls for this expiration date this Friday and only 88,000 for the puts. 
Last up, guys, let's talk about some of the technical analysis for AMC moving forward here. AMC stock gained 8.92% on the last trading day, Monday, rising from 36.99 to 40.29. During the day, it fluctuated 8.79% from a day low of 37.57 to a day high of 40.85. The price has fallen seven of the last 10 days and is down 5.44% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day of trading along with the price, which is a positive technical sign. In total, 12 million more shares were traded than on the day before. In total, 97 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $3.92 billion. The stock lies in the lower part of a very wide and strong rising trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at 37.72 is broken, it will firstly indicate a slower rate of rising, but may also be an early warning for a trend shift. Given the current short-term trend, the stock is expected to rise 101.71% during the next three months and with a 90% probability hold price between 76.08 and 180.48. And now for some of the technical trading levels. For the Fibonacci support levels and resistance levels, on the support side of things, we see 38.32, 37.54, and 36.29 on the downside. For the resistance, 4082, 4160, and 4285 on the resistance side. And on the accumulated volume support and resistance levels, we see 4281, 4791, and then 4940. And the resistance, those are the prices we're trying to break through. And on the support side of things, some of the prices that will keep us from falling, 36 and then 3343, and finally 3204. But if you guys want to stay up to date with everything else going on with AMC, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, like the video for some good luck for AMC, as well as the more likes we get, the more YouTube spreads this information on YouTube. So, like the video for the YouTube algorithm. And lastly, if you guys have not already, make sure to join our private exclusive Discord server. But join fast because we are only accepting a few new members. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.